Welcome to the Four Pillars of Men's Health, a podcast of resources for restoring vigor and vitality, bringing you top influencers in the men's health arena, case studies of men who have succeeded and how they did it, and cutting-edge teaching on men's health issues from America's leading men's health guru, Dave Scaddam. Get ready to take steps towards good health. Here's your host, Dave Scaddam. Hey, welcome to the Four Pillars of Men's Health. So glad you are listening to my podcast. And I, just, I have this firm conviction. I know I say this over and over again, but each one of us have such a unique journey that we take towards good health. And I, it's such a pleasure to meet guys from all over the world who, who are making a difference and taking steps towards good health. And that's why I'm so excited about this. A uh, series of podcasts that I'm doing right now, and um, and it's just so great to meet all these uh, amazing guys and hear their stories. And today I have a special treat for you, a guy that I've known for years and come to admire and respect a lot. And I'm looking forward to his comments and his thoughts on good health. And his name is Monty Sterling from Bozeman, Montana. And Monty, thanks for joining us this morning on our podcast. Hey, uh, yeah, I feel real welcome. Uh, All right, sounds yeah, good. it feels great hey, being here, man. <laughs> hey, I always like I always like to start off my podcast just you know getting to know you a little more, and just so everybody knows, Monty is a this pretty amazing creative genius. So whenever I have a, a creative glitch, I call Monty up, and we have this uh, creative session, and we always come up with some pretty great creative ideas, but. His uh, bread and butter is he's a construction guy, and he's an inventor and a creative genius, and i um, really glad to have you on my show. And I always like to start these things off with, you know, what is getting Monty Sterling out of bed in the morning these days? What's, what's on your front burner, Monty? What's cooking in your life? I'm glad you asked me that. That's the most important thing not only in my life, but I think everyone else, why are you getting Mm -hmm. out of bed in the morning? Uh, What, what's your, what's your why? And for me, it's very, very powerful. And I I jump out of bed before the alarm and Hmm. I don't know why I'm so motivated into action. Well, the reason I am is because (laughs) I've got, (laughs) I've got this powerful, powerful end game. I, you, yeah. you know, why do you even get out of bed in the morning? For instance, take take uh, uh, Bill Gates. He's got an end mm-hmm. game, and that's to eradicate poverty in Africa. So, so that's his wow. reason for getting out of bed in the first place. And of course, yeah. all the money yeah. is bonus. And then you take Sam Walton. His yeah. end game commitment to the masses. And I mean, once yeah. you once you define what that is. You yeah. get rid of all your mindless activity, and and for me, it, it's a, a focused direction, which uh, which gets rid of uh, a, a lot of wasted time. So I so I build homes, and yeah. for a living, I do that for the money, pays the bills. I've risen yeah. to the top percentage. Of I know. Skill, uh, be, yeah. For a few reasons. When when yeah. you're in charge and, and you're like, I need to get this done. No one res, is responsible except for me. You, yeah. you get past what I call the uh, laziness, and you start to learn, yeah. and, and you start to you, you start to make your mistakes, which, which yeah. is the tuition you have to pay anyway to become a, a master of what you're doing. Yeah. But what, once I started to take charge, like I got to build this house. Yeah, the everything started to fall into place because mm. my skill level started to rise, my my ambition, my self confidence, like every everything started to fall into place, yeah. and mm. and it just made me one of the top percentages of, of the yeah. of the people in that field. That's cool. cool. Focus. I, I love it when you said uh, it's the tuition you got to pay. <laughs> That's so true in well, life. <laughs> If you if you're going somewhere, it's going to cost you, and you know you have to you have to weigh that out. What, what's it going to cost you for where I want to go? And uh, I think that's uh, that's a there's a lot the of tuition. Yeah, well, right. 
<laughs> yeah, the tuition you have to pay. I got that from uh, Outliers, <laughs> the guy that wrote oh, really? that book. Uh, cool. I, his name escapes me, but he yeah, said you yeah. need to make 10,000 mistakes <clears throat> over a oh. period of five to ten years. And, and in construction, I made every one of those. And, and the point <laughs> that he was trying to bring out, every time you make one, yeah. check it off the list because you need 10,000. <laughs> I, I think the example <laughs> the example he used was was the Beatles uh, playing for 10,000 hours mm. before they got good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's, that's, that is so true. I mean, in life, if you look back over your life, if you, you got to learn from those things. Hey, I, I, I'm curious. What, um, so I, I, I'm like a amateur historian kind of. I, I really like learning about history and hearing about past stories about our our society and our culture and our world. Mm-hmm. And, and and so when I think of men's health, my my thoughts kind of go back to this. Um, this ancient Greek and Roman era, thousands of years ago, and and I, I have in my mind this this picture of this uh, great sculpture, and he he's got his chisel out there, and he's got this big chunk of marble rock, and he's out there with his hammer and his chisel and he chisel the away. And, David. Yeah, and and at the end, at the end, he's created this um, just uh, like an amazing figure of I think in his mind the perfect man and uh just just this amazing thing I, I'm just curious if you if you had if you could do that and you could put uh, like this ideal healthy man up on one of those Greek pillars what would that man look like describe the perfect healthy man what what is that to you what how does that look to you oh man what a cool image I I would yeah. say seven percent body fat muscles streamlined over muscles Mm -hmm. uh you know good health Uh, i would i would say and of course statue of of david what i remember uh who who did that was that leonardo da vinci that chiseled him away or michael is either that or michelangelo michelangelo yeah i remember (laughs) they had it on covered in a big uh, blanket and he worked yeah. in, under that blanket for two years keeping it a secret to the masses wow. and when it was unveiled <laughs> yeah. I remember the, yeah. the, uh, the Satchel David was naked yeah. and uh, everybody's oh, surprised yeah. the women's like there's the perfect <laughs> man <laughs> but <laughs> oh, they even <laughs> built a special monument to house that statue yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. So seven percent well, yeah. body fat, muscular, good health. What? what t- tell me a little bit more about what that healthy guy looks like. Oh, you would be able to see his self-esteem in, in by by the posture that 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 he carries. Uh, you you would see you would see that that he's a a man that, and, and this you'd have to almost look in in into his eyes. You, you would see that he would be a man of, of substance and, and commitment to excellence and, yeah. and d- d- just an intelligent kind of, kind of looking guy. Yeah. And, and that all comes with good health, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I love it when you, you can get so much out of like who a person is by looking, looking them in the eye it really tells you a lot about who that person is. Oh yeah. Speaking of the person's eyes, when when yeah. you talk to people, especially when you shake hands, uh, it, it's important to look deep into their eyes, yeah. and almost to the point where you can see the color of their eyes, because it, it just shows that you're interested. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. So you mentioned so you mentioned good health, you know, a good fit body, a a good self esteem, good posture, and. Um, good character and the pursuit of excellence. Uh, you know, the flip side of that is, you know, as you go through life and probably especially or at least somewhat in construction, you probably see a lot of unhealthy people. So it, w- you, you, you just kind of like graphically describe this healthy guy. Now, wh- what do you think it is that makes 
guys unhealthy? Oh, that simple. Lifestyle. Uh, uh, yeah. The average American, how, how much TV do they watch? Three to four hours a day. Uh, yeah. Most guys I know, especially in my field of consumption, yeah. they, they yeah. smoke cigarettes. They, mm-hmm. they drink excessive alcohol. And yeah. I, I notice their, their health is like, they're tired, they're, yeah. they're negative, they're, they're unhealthy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tired and negative. Speaking of uh, cigarettes, yeah, that's one of the most unhealthy things. I, I like to say that I quit when I was 11. Yeah. <laughs> because, you, you know, when you're 11, you sneak behind a barn. <laughs> you sneak behind a barn, you have that cigarette. Yeah, you know that. That's what kids do. And I think that was the last one. I was eleven. Yeah, I, try, but, I tried it one time. It never worked out very good for me. <laughs> no, but that, that's that's, not, so that's a sign of an unhealthy. Yeah. That's unhealthy people. You know. Yeah. You have to treat your body like it's like it's a temple. They say. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. So watching TV, smoking cigarettes, alcohol, always being tired and negative. That's so. I mean, that's a, that's a strong list of um, it really describes a lot of unhealthy people out there. Oh, speaking so, of TV, yeah, cool. your your body's designed for action and mm-hmm. and stress, and and in this field of construction. It's an active lifestyle. It's physical every day. It's push, push. And sometimes we have to meet the deadline, so, which means we have to go long hours, 14 hours. Yeah. And, right. and then it gets to a point where fatigue sets in. Yeah. But your body can, you can push your body to the limit. Yeah. And uh, as, as the late, great Vince Lombardi said, fatigue will make fools of us all. Mm. So, so in my active lifestyle, we we push right past the fatigue, and, and the body can can take it, you know. Yeah. And yeah. and then the one of the good things about that, you will sleep well. Yeah. You you yeah. push your body. Let, let me tell you, the, the nights sleep. <laughs> yeah. Physical people sleep very well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Hey, so when, so for you personally, you you mentioned you know lifestyle TV, these these things that create unhealth, or alcohol excess of alcohol, tired and negative. What, what if you look, if you like look at your life? What, what do you feel like is were some of the things that you personally struggle with that maybe you do it and you know you probably shouldn't or you're you know, trying to get out of a negative habit pattern or whatever. What What are some of the things in your life currently or in your past that you struggle with that create unhealth in you personally? Cool. Yeah, we'll get to that negative uh, habit <laughs> pattern in a minute, but what <laughs> – yeah, let's put that on hold. But yeah. what I struggle with yeah. is the temptation to – eat junk food because we're in construction and, and sometimes we just work right through lunch. So we eat on the run. So, yeah. so what's easy order in some pizza right. or, yeah. or order, order in some McDonald's. And, and let me tell you, yeah. when I eat pizza, that's yeah. heavily processed meat and, and yeah. refined dough. I can yeah. physically yeah. feel the difference it makes in my body. Wow. When, when I'm physically active, you, you get yeah. tired right away. Of course, there's going to be a sugary drink. Yeah, you, you know, and and the brain's not the, the brain doesn't see sugar as as food. Yeah, you know, and then of course there's going to be right. French fries. Yeah, the, yeah. the brain doesn't see that. That's full of carcinogenic substances. Yeah, and and, and being yeah. a physically yeah. active guy, yeah. I I notice the difference. In how I feel right after I eat. So I would say. Yeah, so when you're. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when you're like, I, I've seen you work, man. You are a hustler. You and your crew. 
And so <laughs> I know that you are like out there on the edge of, you know, pushing your body to the limit. And, and that's, that's cool to hear you say that you can tell like right away when you eat something that is not good nutrition for your body, you can tell what are some of the things that you feel like if you eat some of that junk food, what, what, what happens? What do you notice? Uh, you immediately uh, get tired. You, you lose what I call uh, the zone, where, yeah. where it's like a, it's like a, a workout, and everything yeah. just flows. You, you know, it, it, right. you lose what I call the Michael Jordan factor, where yeah. you're not on top of your game. Mm. You know, like speaking of Jordan, right. uh, he he. He uh, termed the phrase in the zone where yeah. everything yeah. just in, in there's the same thing in construction. Your yeah. mistake level goes way down. Right. And uh, yeah. it, it seems everything you do is like quality. You know, you lose yeah. that. Yeah. And, and, and then, of course, water. When you're under the sun and you're sweating like crazy, Water, man, it, your body needs that to, to carry out functions, you know, yeah. like remove waste, perspiration. And when yeah. you re- replenish that yourself, if you were to drink a soda, mm. uh, you know, what, Pepsi, Coke? Yeah, yeah. Right, right away you go, you go into fatigue mode yeah. as, as opposed yeah. to fresh water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Hey, so... Um, a little, a little bit more personal. I want to dig in a little bit deeper with you. If you if you look back over your life, I know you you're living in Montana, but you came from I think Minnesota. Is that where you're from? Yeah, where Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. That's right. Yep. Green Bay Packers. Yep. Green Bay, Wisconsin. <laughs> yep. Cheese man. If you look back, <laughs> if, you, <laughs> if you look back over your whole, you know, from now to you know, to the first memory you had in life. What, and if you can point, can you point to some times or some people or a circumstance that where, where, you, where you can say, you know what, because of that circumstance, it could be a negative thing or a positive thing or a negative person or a positive person, that that made all the difference for me in my journey to health. What, can you think of times like turning points or people that made a big impact on you that created you to be like a more healthy person? Oh, yeah. I, I'll start it back when I was a young athlete. Mm-hmm. And the coaches that I had <clears throat> turned out to be the biggest yeah. mentors of my life. Mm-hmm. Wow. They, they taught me what I call the four P's, persist, the four D's persistent desire, dedication, and what's the last one? Purpose. So I learned those in sports. Yeah. And I, I yeah. brought that into adulthood where, yeah. where I, I had an end game of, of doing some, something remarkable with my life. Yeah. Yeah. You know, something, something that made a difference. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I when you when you say that, my my mind went back to my I had a high school coach, a wrestling coach. His name was uh, Dennis Springer, and I still keep in touch with that guy. And it's it's a pretty incredible the the impact that that type of person has on our life. And in my interviews with guys all over the world, many of them of them have told me that that they're. They're, when they were younger, they had like a coach or a, a great mentor that poured into their life and encouraged them. And and where my thought goes is, man, if that was so powerful for me, what what am I doing with the young guys around me? And how how am I impacting their life? And how can I make a difference for them? Just like these guys did in my life. And I think that's such a powerful thing. Coach Springer, huh? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, so. For me, it was like, I, I look at the, my, the number one mentor my whole life 
I'd yeah. put him up there at the level of Vince Lombardi. Uh, he was just a good guy, caring and interested in, 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 in bringing out the best in, in all of the young mm-hmm. athletes. Mm-hmm. And, and that coach, he had more state champions mm-hmm. at that time than any other. He turned, that single-handedly coach turned our town into a dynasty of wrestlers. Really? And, uh, wow. We had a dynasty of uh, state huh. champions, one right after another. And it was all in the coaching. It was all in yeah. in a man's ability to inspire young guys wow. yeah. to be the best. Yeah, you know that's incredible. That's powerful. That's that's what I want to do for people around me. Uh, oh, it's great. Sometimes yeah. I see a young guy, and I, I tell him, I don't want to tell you what to do, but hey, if I was you, and I give him all the advice, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I usually say join Toastmasters. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've seen you do that. <laughs> okay, yeah. so here we're, we get we, we got to wrap it. We got to start wrapping this up. But uh, so I always like to at the end of these podcasts, near the end of these podcasts, I always like to like put this magic wand in my interviewee's hand and put a crown on your head. So Monty, you are the king of the world, and you have a magic wand, and you can do one or two things. That, that you think would dramatically improve men's health all over the world? What, what, if you could swing this magic wand and make that happen, what would it be? Cool. I'm glad you asked me that. <laughs> what you are about to hear is going to give you <laughs> health, wealth, love, right. happiness, <laughs> everything in life. And, that, and this is what it is. De- decide your per- life's purpose. Your yeah. end game. Why do you get? The, why do you even get out of bed in the morning? Because once you decide that, you have a focused life. No more mindless activity. No more clutter in your brain. Once you have, let's let's put it like what Lance Armstrong said: We have good days and great days. <laughs> once you decide where you're going. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you're inspired into action, and and you catch on yeah. fire with ambition, and and this yeah. has a lot to do with men's health. Yeah. For one, you're going to get rid of all the the mindless activities. You're going to yeah. be more focused. You can yeah. unlock your creative mind. Yeah. You know, and I first found this out when when I was a young guy, and, and you know, parents they always mean the best, and they're like, mm-hmm. you have to go into welding. But the only thing is, they didn't tell me how boring it was going to be. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here I'm doing what everybody else said, and then one day, I said, "What? What do I want to do? What's What's my yeah. life's passion? My purpose?" Cool. And then cool. I said, "I want to build. Yeah, I want to build homes. I want I want to work with my hands and be creative." And that led yeah. into other things that is unique to me. So, so when you say may wave that magic wand, went on for everyone. Yeah. D- decide where you're going. Decide your life's yeah. purpose. You yeah. know you're, that unique thing that's inside of you and inside of everyone. You, what? Yeah. What? What's the meaning of life for you? You know. Right. That's cool. Mm-hmm. So what? So I, you know, when you say that, <clears throat> it's not always that easy to figure that stuff out. So. You know, if there's somebody out there listening, like maybe a younger guy, and they're and they're trying to figure out, you know, what what should I do with my life? What what are some now that you've kind of gone through that yourself and found your life passion? What what advice could you give somebody that's kind of there, kind of wandering through life, and they're thinking, you know, I gotta I gotta figure this thing out. I gotta get this dialed in and find a specific thing that I want to do in this life and and get focused on that. What, what, what advice would you give them in, in their pursuit of that, trying to figure that out? Oh, I'm glad you asked me that. Here's the advice, and, and this is important. Yeah. And this is going to make you the man or the woman that you want to be. Mm-hmm. And here it is. Enjoy the journey. Uh, You're going to have a lot of ups and downs. Enjoy yeah. every one of them. You, you know, yeah. we've been down before, but just yeah. keep focusing on that goal and, yeah. and just learn to 
stop complaining and learn to love the struggle because yeah. in the end it pays off. Yeah. Uh, you, cool. you ask, you yeah, ask Michael yeah. Jordan uh, how hard he worked. Yeah. Yeah. You, you know, ask Steve Jobs how hard. He, uh, what, once you learn to enjoy the struggle itself, there's yeah. no obstacle that that wow. will stop you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cool. Yeah. All right. So, like, like with. Go ahead. I was going to say, uh, you first mentioned that I invented the wall leveler. Yeah. 40 revisions again and again and again. Mm-hmm. Talk about a struggle. Yeah. But that's the process. Yeah. Just, yeah. oh, here's, here's, another, here's another setback, another setback. But yeah. one, once you have a vision of where you're going, you, you, you know, nothing can really yeah. stop you. That's mm-hmm. cool. All right, so it, this this is a lot. We're going to wrap this up, Monty. So, so I'm gonna I'm just going to toss this to you, and you know if you if you want people to get a hold of you or see what you're doing, you can say that, and I'll put that in the show notes as well. But close this out with you know your final thoughts on men's health and the importance of health and whatever kind of however you want to wrap this up. And also if you got if you have some things going, you mentioned that wall level. I've right? seen that thing in action. It's an amazing invention, and whatever, if you want to say something about that, whatever, however you want to wrap this up in regards to being healthy, and if, uh, if you want people to contact you and how they do that, that'd be great. So I just, I just uh, forward lateral the ball to you, and now you run it in for a touchdown. Okay, uh, let's see. <laughs> if I had one, <laughs> if I had one, uh, a piece of advice or you want to lead in someone learn all you can uh, have a curiosity of life uh, you look around and make up your own philosophy the curiosity of, of everything in, in, in life that's one thing about um, I've always had a wonder and ask questions. So I would say just learn all you can, become the best you can be. You've been listening to the Four Pillars of Men's Health with Dave Scadam. To learn more about the resources mentioned on today's show or listen to past episodes, visit the Four Pillars of Men's Health.com.